guy right there in Atlanta. Brad Keselowski here with us today. Drew Blickenserfer, I'm Shannon Spake, Adam Alexander. We're going to talk we're going to talk about your win a lot. So let's get to Drew first. Let's talk about your day. I know we had a lot to work out down in Atlanta with the new package. So how did things go for you guys? It, it went fairly well. Our, our we were supposed to bring the hand sanitizer, actually, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's right. One, one thing we noticed about Atlanta, and one thing we knew for sure, was track position was going to be important. And you yeah. guys really didn't have no, very good track position, even no. the start. Um, so a pit pen, or not a pit penalty, but a pit road issue uh, put you back again. Yeah. So you guys had to battle through a lot of adversity. Oh, man, we did about you being ill, but I mean, how did you feel climbing in that car? I know you said adrenaline took over, but but, but getting into that race car on Sunday, how'd you feel? Well, I felt because on Friday we heard guys like Jimmy and Kevin and Martin. I mean, basically they were like, let's just, I don't even know what we have. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then kind of come into Saturday, we go through practice and I felt like some of the answers started to come to us and cars started to change a little bit. What was mm -hmm. the difference? Do you think? Well, weren't exactly easy as we just showed you Martin Truex Jr. making the move Paul Wolf said that he felt like that they had maybe made the wrong uh, adjustment on a pit stop actually there was some damage um, to that front of that car as a crew chief when you start to see the car go away from your driver in those closing laps mm -hmm. what's your process of trying to figure out what's going on well for the last few years you key the mic and say work your track bar there you go unfortunately Brad didn't have it I'd say with 12 or 15 to go Paul Wolf is probably planning on his next pit stop come ready for that other than that He's looking at the monitor and probably praying his driver does the job. Yes, yeah, spotter and driver. When you look at the history of these races and how the track changes mm -hmm. over the course of the race, is there anything that you can kind of rely on there? Well, we, we have a notebook and we have great... And for a little Blake's take, break down everything from the Atlanta race. We're going to talk about Christopher Bell, right? But besides that, what were some of your takeaways from this weekend's race? Yeah, drivers love this track. Old, worn out surface, many options, running the bottom, running the top. And the biggest take, an awesome race, which it always is in the Xfinity series. So I loved it. Your first takeaway is about one of the veterans, right? Justin Allgaier. What did you want to point out about him? Well, about Justin Allgaier was, you know, Bell did win stage, dominated stage yeah. one and two. But if you have... A little interesting at the end, right? He did. He came out of nowhere. <laughs> like, we're talking about Allgaier and Bell for the win. And then Custer's ripping the fence <laughs> and then is a threat for the win on the last lap. So Custer did amazing. We knew before the sweet feeling for a driver, but he, he just showed everybody that he can do it in Atlanta. You know, that will be the storyline that the fans will want to cover as we go to Talladega. Okay, so as we mentioned, Saturday was all about Christopher Bell. So how's the week gone for the series winner? Well, Caitlin Vinci, Justin Allgaier, That's Cole Custer. You got competitors <laughs> right. that feel like they can win too. So I, I think it's nice. It is a stout field. That is that is one thing that's for sure. Okay, so if Atlanta is bumpy and rough and all these characteristics, what is Vegas? What are we looking forward to? Vegas is gonna be Christopher Bell being fast, <laughs> Allgaier being fast, but Cole Custer, his crew chief Triplet last year won both races there, dominated those races, so Custer's going to come out. Right, they're going to be starting their engines out in Vegas this weekend, and, and I want to ask you guys, I mean, the second week with, with the new aero rules, last week, Atlanta, right, it's rough, it's bumpy, tire fall off is everything. This week, we go to Vegas, which is very different. How is this going to translate? What One day, a precursor to, to Texas, Kansas, Charlotte, the other mile and a half tracks on the schedule, Brad? Well, I think a lot of people are probably wondering, first off, F, bigger yes. tracks. Yeah. My question for you is now that you have that W, does this allow you to just kind of open the book and try some things to try to figure out what you've really got in this? Absolutely. And you can't count out Kyle Bush and Eric Jones. He's had two top tens to start the season. We, been... You've given a third of the field now. Very <laughs> give me one, smaller. Drew. <laughs> right, give me one, I'll take From what I can tell, he needs an orange car. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, you're right. We've seen that all the morning and then, uh, then here. Can you narrow it down? You got a, a favorite? Well, uh, a Ford Mustang is, is what I hope. But I, but I, like I think I think you're going to see a surprise winner. I think this is what we want to see: a, a new guy come to the front. And I think you might get one of those. I'm I'm rooting for it. That would be really good. In three races, three different winners. Okay, How great is it to be a part of NASCAR Race Hub and you get to talk about great things like this? You get to have winners in studio. And uh, but what what a day! It's been good. Well, it's it's funny because you had the Marine, and, and I don't know if you know this, but Drew and I, our your uncle and my dad, went yeah. to the Naval Academy. Me together, so wow, yeah. look at that. Yeah. all the way back in the day. So yeah. there's a connection there as well. Military runs strong in NASCAR. I mean, from the very founding of the sport in 1948, military was involved, and uh, it's great that our sport continues to honor that to this day.
I thought you did a nice job today, Brad, but we're going to put you to the test again this weekend. We'll see how you handle the broadcast. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'll be in the booth this Saturday with Adam for the Xfinity race. Let's do it. Good luck this weekend. Thank, Thank you guys you. for being here. Thank you. Thank you guys for being here. We will see you back here tomorrow. Have a fabulous night, everybody.